Hey polish peeps, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new and you love polish, you're in the right place, so welcome. Today is another haul video. As you guys know, I haul a lot of polishes. So here we are again, and what is this? <laughs> no idea, I'm having issues. Anyway, um, yeah, so here we are again, ready to do another haul. Y'all are going to be insanely happy with me. Let me adjust this here just a little bit. Because before I started this video, prior to this, I will say, I got my life together. So we are going to try and just zoom through these polishes like I've never done before because there's usually issues. But I'm going to do like I have been doing uh, recently when I do my haul videos. I show you guys a swatch stick with a glossy top coat and a, um, a matte um, coat on the swatch wheel so you guys can see what both look like. And of course, you know, if you have any of these polishes, yay. <laughs> if not, I mean, I can't even really tell you. I have so many polishes, I get so many polishes. I can't tell you where I got them from. I can tell you about maybe roundabout time I got them, but past that, I don't know. I gave up on doing monthly hauls because it was just too much. I buy too much polish. <sighs> yes, I have a problem. Hello, my name is Ebony, and I'm addicted to polish. <laughs> Insane. Um, anyway, and you know, as you can see by the generous amount of polishes, ooh, y'all can't even really see all of them, but that's it's just one, one wall. That's not even, um, you know, including my helmers. Um, so it's, yeah, insane. Anyway, let's get to talking about the polishes. Like I said, I got my life together. I got my swatch sticks right here. I got my swatch wheels together. We are going to do this. We have bunch of polishes to talk about but i'm gonna try to do this in less than an hour do y'all believe i can do it because it normally doesn't happen but today it's gonna happen we're gonna do this all right here we go starting with first polishes so um i can't remember when i purchased these polishes but my friend josephine did a um collaboration with people of color and she designed these polishes as a part of that collaboration they're gorgeous of course i had to score some of them so i picked them up um I will also link Josephine's page below if I remember, or I'll throw her Instagram up here um, so you guys can check out her channel as well. She's my amazing friend. She's awesome. I love her so much. Um, so yeah, she created um, with people of uh, people of color some really pre really pretty polishes. Okay, well I'm trying to get this all in under an hour. I'm going to try not to talk so fast that you cannot understand what I'm saying. Here we go. First polish, this is Low and Slow. It's a beautiful pink with that gorgeous shimmer. That is pretty. Of course, Josephine loves pink polish, so I'm sure that this one was a lot of fun for her to make. And here it is on the swatch stick. Pretty, you can even see some of that shimmer going on there. And here it is on my swatch wheel. It is this one right here. Gonna show you guys what it looks like on my finger. That's gorgeous, so pretty. It looks amazing, matte. Next from the collection, I picked up La Playa, um, which is a gorgeous uh, like light blue, light blue cream. This one has an amazing formula, really pretty blue. Um, here it is on the swatch stick, La Playa with the glossy top coat. Doesn't look too glossy right now on the swatch stick, but there is a top coat on there, I promise. <laughs> and on the swatch wheel, there's that one matte. Ooh, look how pretty that is, matte. Gorgeous. Next, I picked up a topper, but I do believe I could get this opaque in maybe, opaque enough for me in three coats. Um, oh, if I mess up these names, I don't know. This is Vestidos. Traditionales, something like that. <laughs> I am actually trying to learn Spanish. My girlfriend is Mexican and her family does not speak English. So when we go see her family, I'm like, I want to be able to at least have a conversation with them, but I'm still, I, I suck y'all. I'm so bad. Um, it's a learning process that I'm in, but anyway, this is a really pretty topper. Um, it has like tons of different colored glitters 
here it is on this watch stick it also is in kind of like a tinted pink base as you can see here that's two coats on this watch stick so um you know i could get it opaque enough for me in three coats but if you prefer it to be um completely opaque you know just straight glitter on the nail you'll probably want to use um the sponge method to get it on your nails you'll have to oh, hold on let me turn this off because it's going to keep going off if i don't put it on vibrate hold please it's stuck in here okay all right um so here it is on the swatch wheel matte it up that's two coats and it's also really pretty matte I really like that one. Of course, it you know, if you want to put it over uh, something, you're, you're probably going to want to put it over a similar color since it is a pink base and it is going to probably change the color of your base a little bit, but um, you can also definitely wear it alone. The last one that I got, is this the last one? Yes. The last one I got was Abuela. I don't know how to say that one. <laughs> it's this gorgeous orange with, um, it looks like holographic shimmer or holographic um, glitters that's what it looks like I don't don't know for sure if that's what it is but we're just gonna say it's definitely holographic glitters here on the swatch stick you can't really see that hollow but it's there it's a really pretty orange and here it is matted up on the swatch wheel gorgeous as well matted up Next we have, let me get the swatch sticks for the next row. I also um, hit a sale for Dimension Nails and I actually don't have any other polishes by this brand other than the ones that I purchased during the sale. They were a really good price so I just went and ordered a bunch of them. Um, this one's called a, um, Impala, which I think is a very appropriate name. It's kind of a nude with like some shimmer going on in there as well these are also really good formulas here it is matted up on the swatch wheel i gotta make sure i'm showing y'all the right one right now <laughs> okay i think we're we're on the right track this one is vitamin d and it is a yellow cream yes i know i know ebony does not do yellow but it's pretty, right? I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a really pretty yellow. Um, here it is on the swatch stick with a glossy top coat. And here it is matted up. I think it's really pretty. Um, matted up as well. Mm, no, I'm looking at it with my skin tone. I don't know. <laughs> I have a weird love-hate relationship with yellow, y'all. It's like, I don't love it in the bottle, but it looks amazing on my nails most of the time. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, this is Witch Flounder. No idea what that name is all about, but it's a gorgeous, like, foily purple. That is really pretty. Look how pretty that is. Of course, if you have been with me, I feel like I say this line every time I do a video. If you've been with me for a while, then you know that purple is my jam. Like it's just a disclaimer I should put in all of my videos. <laughs> Witch Flounder with the glossy top coat and Witch Flounder matted up. That's pretty matte. Gorgeous. And then we have uh, be mine which is like a mm, kind of like a muted pink um, like a peachy pink it's not really peach it's more pink than peach but another beautiful cream color I normally don't purchase creams from a and brand because I feel like you know you can get creams um, in the store for cheaper than you can an indie brand but also Mainstream polishes nowadays, you're still going to pay, you know, $10, $11, so I'm like, there's not too much difference there. Okay, um, here is, oh, you know what, I didn't show you guys Impala on a swatch stick, I don't think, did I? I'm going to be showing this to you again. If I, if I did and I'm not remembering, here it is again on a swatch stick. 
because it was still in my lap and here's be mine on this wash day really pretty pink okay let's go with this is mangrove kingfisher no idea what these names are about do y'all know because i don't know <laughs> it's a really um gorgeous like muted blue cream I don't know why. I guess I was really feeling the creams when I placed this order because I bought a lot of them. There's that one on the swatch stick, matted up. Ooh, look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. Um, and oh, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Here it is on the swatch stick. I gotta get my life together. I'm talking about like. Come on, Ebony, let's, let's do this in the same order every time. Okay, got this. Here we go. This is Happy Birthday. It is a, looks kind of like a maybe grayish base with some really pretty glitters. I like the glitter combination in this one a lot. Although it does, I mean, it reminds me of like a Happy Birthday glitter combination, but also kind of like maybe Easter, spring. That's what it reminds me of. So here's happy birthday on the swatch stick with a glossy top coat um, and I feel like this would probably need a third coat. Here it is on the swatch wheel, matte it up. Ooh, that's pretty matte. Look at that. I like that a lot. It's the purple glitters for me. Next we have Owl Butterfly and it's kind of like this. Uh, coppery color, coppery orange. I don't know. It's, it's, it's warm. Definitely warm. <laughs> you guys, I need help with these descriptions. It looks darker on the swatch stick than it does in the bottle. To me anyway, let's make a comparison. Yeah. Okay. So, Ooh, sorry. There's, come on, Ebony. There's the comparison. It, it is a little darker on the swatch stick. But here it is matted up. It's also darker to me matted. Well, the the top the matte top coat kind of lightens it up a little bit, but um, it's like you can see a little bit of it. It didn't get top coated there. It's kind of darker. Okay, so I think that completes the Dimension Nails polishes that I picked up. And so the next brand I have to share with you is. Now lacquer, and I don't even remember. Okay, it says it on here. This was a blooming collection. I bought all of these from this collection. Um, so yeah, I do that sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very impulsive when it comes to polish, you guys. Like super impulsive and I have zero self-control. Zero, none. It is non-existent. So this is Snapdragon. Gorgeous, uh, bright green with some shifting iridescent flakies, it looks like. So you can kind of see the flakies there. This reminds me of spring too, or summer even, like it's grass. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's bright grass. It's like the grass with the sun shining on it. Um, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> That's it with a glossy top coat. And here it is matted up. Oops, I can't even see. There we go. Ooh, I think that was gonna look really pretty with my skin tone. Ooh, and some stamping. I can see it now. Um, I also picked up from that collection Marigold, which is another green, not quite as bright, definitely warmer with like, Gold to orange. I can see some blue shifting flakies in there. So you can see the blue kind of here at the bottom. Those flakies are gorgeous. This is kind of like a prugly, prugly green. Apparently, I didn't care with this collection. I was just like, give me all the polish. So, and I don't really buy too many prugly polishes. So. I have to put this in the, I'm just going to have a drawer. I need to have a drawer labeled Prugly Polishes. I feel like everybody should have some Prugly Polishes in their collection. 
It is matted up. I actually like it better matte, I think. So that one's pretty. That's Marigold. Next I have Night Owl Lacquer Poppy from also the same collection. I really like this um, like reddish orange. Well, it looks more orange in per person, but on the viewfinder it looks red, reddish pinkish. I'm not really sure what's happening there with the way this comes off on camera, but it also has some like micro glitters. I want to say they're purple. I think they're purple. So we can get a closer look at those. And they're so tiny. You can't even really tell what color they are. But I think they're purple. They're either purple or blue maybe? I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think. But it's pretty. I like it. And here it is. Matted up. And you really can't see them when it's matted. It just kind of mutes them out of there. I mean, it's still pretty. You could definitely, I mean, it does kind of, it kind of looks to like a um, ladybug to me. I mean, but with smaller dots. <laughs> um, that's what it reminds me of on the nail. But yeah, that's pretty matted up too. And also from the same collection, this is Iris. I love this one. It's in a gray base with like some blue to gold. Oh, yeah, blue, gold. Like the blue flakies in here shift from blue to purple. And then there's some gold flakes in there as well. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, I wish you guys could see the shift here. It's actually, it's like blue to like pinky purple. That's really pretty. Here is Iris on the swatch stick, and it is chock full of those flakies. So, um, I kind of feel like the flakies kind of overwhelm the base a little bit of this one, and so I'm not sure if I would wear this one. Like, oh, here, let me show you guys what it looks a little bit closer. I'm not sure if I would wear this one in one coat or two because this is two coats and I feel like with two coats the flake it gets a little flaky heavy um so I'm not sure but I can't remember how opaque it is in one coat so I might be able to like wear a blurring base coat underneath or I could even use this as a topper and put you know a gray, a gray polish underneath it and then top it in one coat that might work also um just so that the Flakies don't overwhelm the base so much. But here is that one matted up. And again, this is two coats with one coat of matte. And next I have, also from the same collection, Forget Me Not. Oh, I love the color of this blue. It's, it's a blurple in person. Um, and it's coming across mostly blue to you, but it has this gorgeous purple shimmer. Let's see if I can... And it's not coming across on camera in person. It is very evident. Um, I wish I could see it. But it has this just very, um, like, I mean, it's there. <laughs> like, you can see it. I wish you guys could see it. Um, it's really pretty. You, you can't see it on this. You're not going to be able to see it on the swatch stick either. But there is a purple shimmer there. I can't get it to come across on the viewfinder, but it is there. <laughs> I'm telling you guys because I, you know, I want you to know if you have this polish and you're worried about it, that purple shimmer not coming across on the nail, it does. It's just not on my viewfinder, so I promise you, will not be disappointed with the shimmer. I think this is the last one, and this is Daisy. This is, I think it's also in a gray base, but the flakies are different. It looks to me like to me, it's just mostly those gold flakies. Um, and they don't shift too much. I can see just a little bit of shift with the gray, with the gold flakies. And it looks to me like it's in the same base as, no, it's not. It's definitely not. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. But it doesn't look like it's in the same kind of base. Like this looks like it's 
it's these are definitely not the same like this has more has like a little bit of green in it maybe um y'all know I, I can't I'm blind so whatever <laughs> um here it is on the swatch stick with one coat of glossy top coat and on the swatch wheel matte it up that's really pretty y'all I have to show you this y'all look he's the cutest oh wait you can't see there he is look how cute he is Ari say hi <laughs> I love my cat y'all he's being cute so I had to let y'all see how cute he was being I digress moving on see this is why I do not complete a video in an hour but we're at 20 minutes so I'm doing pretty good okay because we are actually we only have three more rows left so I'm, I'm kind of impressed with myself right now like for real I need to get myself organized and I'm also kind of restricting my descriptions here and, and input so that's helping as well so next I have some wildflower lacquers I did buy um the complete collection of Shits Creek from Wildflower part four and part five. I think that was maybe 12 polishes. I'm not sure actually how many polishes it was, but I, I bought all of them. Um, so I have all of those I, again, no self-control. They are freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna stop. They are gorgeous. I gotta stop whispering when I get excited. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, they're so pretty. Okay, um, starting with, this is a little bit of Alexis, and y'all, I've, I've been watching Shit's Creek, but I'm only on like, I think maybe season two, I might have made it to season three, so I don't know what a lot of these, um, like, phrases are from exactly, some of them I do know, like, some of them were maybe in the first season, or, the, you know, the second season, but, um, there's some of them I haven't heard actually in Schitt's Creek yet, but y'all, I can't even describe this. I don't even know. What color is this? <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. Okay. Let me see if I can try. So it looks like it's a, oh gosh, I don't even know what, what like a, maybe, like maybe a, a like a beige or a, like a beige, beige base with, um, it's like pink to green to gold shifting shimmer. <laughs> I don't know. If you have any questions, just look it up. It's, 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 it's somewhere. The description is somewhere. You should be able to find it. But y'all, it looks so pretty. Look at that. I love that color. This color is going to look really good with my skin tone. Um, oh, yeah. I love that. That's really pretty. Hold on. Hold, please. Okay, here it is. Look how pretty it is matte, y'all. Ooh, look. That's gorgeous. Love it. Okay. The next one I have is the Crowening. Okay, let me maybe breathe. I can't describe this one. It's definitely in a deep purple base, and it's, like, it's settled in there, so you can see that base at the top. And then it's got a lot of like a like aurora green gold shifting goodness going on in there with some like silver micro glitters. That's it. Something like that. <laughs> Out of all of that description, I got at least one thing in there correct. But it is freaking gorgeous, y'all. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. I feel like I have several polishes that are similar to this. I should pull them and do a um, comparison video, but unfortunately, my collection is out of control. I don't know where anything is. If I find them, it'll be a freaking miracle. But goals, hashtag goals. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, that's gorgeous, Matt, too. That is stunning. Next, I have... Isn't this a glittering sea of hopeful faces? I think I have heard that phrase. I don't remember exactly what episode it was, but holy cow. Look at that flaky, shifting, shimmery goodness right there. <gasps> Ooh, that shift is so pretty. So this is in a gray base with a lot of shifting, uh, like iridescent glitters. Gorgeous, so pretty. 
Here it is on the swatch stick. And the shift is so strong, it almost looks kind of green on the nail, but then, you know, if you shift it, it looks kind of pink. And then there's some purple in there that y'all cannot see. <sighs> I promise you, that's what's going on. That is pretty matted up. I feel like I'm redundant in saying that because they're all pretty matted up. So without me even saying it, you already know. You're simply the best. Some more shimmering goodness. This isn't a pink base. Um, with you can see that shifting shimmer there. I have my window open, y'all, and I'm trying not to be distracted. Like it's the evening time and people are always walking by my window. So I'm trying not to be like, you know, peeping. <laughs> Here's that one on the swatch stick. Gorgeous pink right here. And mat it up again with the mat. Amazing. Okay. Oh, I am very impressed with myself right now. We are flying through these. Whisper of Desire. Is this Periwinkle? I think this is Periwinkle. With Shifting Shimmer. I want to say this shimmer is kind of close to the same shimmer that is in the glittering sea of hopeful faces if i look at it like this it looks almost identical so i don't know you guys can tell me what you think it doesn't really look identical from the way you're looking at it mm. i feel like maybe the flakies in here have a different a little bit of a different shift but not much like there may be an extra color in there that it's shifting to that you guys can't actually see because it's shifting to like a green on my side here it is on the swatch stick and this is periwinkle right this is periwinkle or lavender i feel like i don't know maybe it's somewhere in between <laughs> Because I don't know how to distinguish between periwinkle and lavender, apparently. But you guys can see the shift a little bit there, but it just looks pink to y'all in person. It's there's, there's like a turquoise in there, too. Um, next, we have, ew, Ted. What am I, 32? I don't know that one either. I don't know what that scene is, what the reference is, but it is freaking gorgeous, of course. I mean, what do we actually expect at this point? Nothing but perfection. Look how pretty. You guys, all of these formulas are amazing. Um, I mean, I want to say they're all two, two coaters except for the ones that I've mentioned to you guys that might be better in three coats. But pretty much all of them are two coats um, to get opaque. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look how pretty that is. If you guys can't tell, I really like this one. <laughs> I like it a lot. Let me just mat it up. Oh, y'all. Mm, that's so pretty. If I keep showing it to you, it's like I'm, I'm forcing my love of this polish on you. I do apologize, but I'm a little bit biased because it's the polish that I'm showing to you. The internet says you're dead. It's a beautiful holographic, you guys. It's just hollow everywhere. You can't see it, but it is deeply hollowfied. Is that a word? I'm not sure if that's a word, but I just made it up. So we're going to say it is. You can see the hollow a little bit. What is this base? Um, I want to say it's a black base, but what do I know? Here it is on the swatch stick. You can kind of see the hollow a little bit. It's holographic goodness. And matted up. Of course, matted, you know, it kind of takes the hollow component out a little bit, but you can still see it a little bit. I'm not so sure I would wear that one matted up because I likes the hollow. I love me some hollow, y'all. Okay, I'm sorry I am not a condom. Again. No idea what that reference is or what scene that is but you know 
I feel like I have to go all the way back to the beginning of Schitt's Creek so I can catch all of them. <laughs> Gorgeous flakies shifting there. It's like a green shift. It's in a clear base with just a lot of iridescent shaking, uh, shifting flaky goodness. That's basically what this is. And it makes it look white, but just with a shift. But it's definitely chock full. I mean, it is a flaky balm. That is all flakes there. Like the base is minimal. It's mostly flakes. And that green shift is basically what you see. And here's that one matted up. So again, one of my disclaimers in my videos should be, I don't really enjoy white polishes on my nails, but if there's a flaky goodness, a flaky something, a little bling, then I'm like, yes. Again, with the whispering, I'm like, yes, give it to me. <laughs> I'm trying to do better y'all because one of the things I've noticed in some of my videos is that sometimes my volume decreases a little bit too much and then I'm like oh they probably didn't even hear what I said there so I'm trying to project more I don't have a microphone yet at this time so I'm trying to make sure that you can hear me clearly on my videos um because I do know that like that's one of the things that people sometimes complain about with YouTubers is not being able to hear us in our videos so I want to make sure I'm speaking clearly and to where you can hear me and oh my god gossip is the devil's telephone best to just hang up i remember this scene or i, I won't say i remember the scene but i remember when this was said in schitt's creek oh, yo, the shimmer this red is really unique i don't even know it's kind of like a like a like a coppery red i'm not even sure how to like a it's it's a brick red but it's a little deeper than that um, a little warmer than a brick red because it's just got like a little touch of orange with a green shimmer that's so pretty that shimmer it's just I don't I have I can I have nothing like this in my collection nothing I can't even think of anything I could compare it to um at all so on the swatch stick though you can't really see the shimmer um, and I can't even really see that green shimmer in person. So I'm hoping that you can see it on the nail because if not, it's just going to be looking like, you know, basic. Um, and you know, if I'm looking through it, I can kind of, there is kind of there's some like pink in this red. Um, and maybe it is just the green shimmer that kind of gives it that like brick red component that is not coming across to y'all and I'm obviously not describing it very well but if you have the polish then you know exactly what I'm talking about and um I don't even know I think it's ooh, which one is it oh, I'm lost y'all I'm lost Hold on, let me let me make some comparisons here because it's, it's gotta be it's gotta be that one. That's the only one on here it could be. I think it just looks different to me because it's matted up, but that's it on the swatch stick. And see on here it just looks like a like a kind of classic red, but it's not. It's anything but classic in person. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about that one, but I'll have to wear it and then maybe I'll let you guys know. Are these 24 karat? This just is like gold in a bottle, basically, with a bunch of silver micro glitters. My cat left the room and now he thinks he is locked out and he's trying to get back in. That's funny. There's not a door, it's just like a curtain. So he's he's breaking in. If y'all hear that in the background, that's that's the cat breaking in. Here it is with a glossy top coat. I really actually like this one a lot. Um I like gold polishes, but there's 
such a huge range of gold. This one right here is like my perfect shade, I feel like. If you get too dark, it doesn't look that great on me. Um, and I think this is lighter and it's not like a, I don't know, like a corn gold or like a sunshine gold. Um, or like that deep gold nugget kind of gold. <laughs> I just, I like this shade a lot. It's, it's really pretty. So there's that one. My cat is trying to jump in my lap. He's very needy y'all. He's very extra. I once played a nurse on MASH. I remember that um, phrase too, actually. I remember exactly who said it and everything. I can't even remember right now while I'm talking to y'all, the characters' names, except for Ted. That's the only one I can remember right now off the top of my head. And I watch the show pretty regularly, which is funny. Um, but if you guys watch the show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You've probably heard these phrases and remember them. This has hollow in it. And it's like an olive. It's just an olive green with some hollow. It's really pretty, though. I do like a good olive green. And I don't think I have any olive greens or holographic olive, olive green polishes. So there it is matted up and y'all aren't going to believe this. This is the last one. This is please never say titillating. That's, that's funny. I like that. <laughs> titillating. Um, you guys, I, I, again, don't know how to describe this. Um, not sure what the base is. I want to say it's maybe a clear base. I think, I feel like it's just maybe a clear base with a lot of silver holographic shimmer it's shifting from green to purple that's ooh, so pretty i like this one a lot too here it is on the swatch stick and in person you can really see the green shift of course with this lighting in my viewfinder you guys cannot see it but i can see it especially if i look at it from and you can't but if I'm looking at it in person from this side of you, I can I can see the green um, shift there. And here it is on the swatch wheel. Again, you can't see that. Well, you can kind of teeny tiny see it a little bit. Okay. Shut up, you guys. It is 37 minutes. The last time I did this no amount of polishes, it was an hour long video. Um, so I have cut that time significantly in half just by organizing and getting my life together. So this is what we're going to do moving forward because I want to try to keep my hauls this large, um, because I have a lot of polish to haul with you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed all the pretty polishes. Let me know if you have any of these. Have you worn them? Have you not worn them? Do you have the whole Shits Creek collection like I do? Are you crazy like I am? <laughs> I need to know the deets so put them down below so we can chat about it if you enjoyed this video and you are joining me for the first time please consider subscribing i would love to have you hit the notification bell so you can see videos from me in the future i have no posting schedule i post when i can but hopefully if you guys enjoy me you will come back um and give this video a thumbs up so i know that i am doing a good job and giving you the content that you are interested in and love to watch. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for joining me and I love you guys a huge ton and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.